Today we are going to talk about why I did purchase an overpriced plastic watch. Let's go! Hello guys, Konstantin aka Mr. B back with another video as mentioned before with a review of my Swatch System 51 Blue Hodinkee Edition. Uh, and guys, if you do like this video and if you do like the overall content of my channel, please leave a thumbs up and um, actually do subscribe to my channel. This would help me quite a lot. Thanks for that guys. <music> Alright guys, you know the drill, but let's start with the technical specification and information. The System 51 does have a diameter of 42 millimeters. The height of the watch is about 14 millimeters, water resistant here just 30 meters. So um, I think nothing more than a little bit rain is possible with this piece. The movement though does have a stunning power reserve of 90 hours, which I do think is very, very stunning. Um, luck to luck with. Well, as you can see, the strap is a little bit special. So um, yeah, I cannot tell directly how it is. You will need to get special made System 51 straps, but I think they are also aftermarket versions. You know, I'm born in the 80s and Swatch was a big deal there in the 80s. They were the first affordable, affordable Swiss made watches you could get and I think um, Swatch was my first watch I received from my granddad. I was so proud to have one. I liked the plastic look. I mean, we do talk about very bright colors. It was my first watch I received and I wore and I felt so proud of it. And when Swatch introduced, I think it was in 2014, the System 51, I was actually pretty impressed by the movement it was an automatical watch I just didn't pull the trigger because yeah I sort of liked it I, I also purchased my fiance a green or the green version uh, but I never pulled the trigger for myself anyways Hodinki presented then the black version the first edition for Hodinki was a aluminium dial and I was really in love with it but never made me to or never thought about paying about 150 bucks um, including shipping fee when I decided to pull the trigger though, um, the watch was gone, it was out of stock, I, let, I asked them to put me on the waiting list, but um, yeah, it was never reintroduced. So um, I was very happy to see that they produced then finally the blue version and I do like how the blue looks. It's like a navy blue, a dark blue, just depending how the lights hit it, it change into a mid blue sometimes. The dial it's, itself is also very well made, um, it's sort of a flight design to me. I like how they um, place the date on six o'clock position so it's a more balanced dial. You have the typical um, three and nine plus the triangle on 12 o'clock and I think it's very very great watch. Loom, well it's not too too great you just have loom on the on the hands but still I do like the overall looks of this watch and I'm very happy that I was able to get one <laughs> even though it was far more to spend um, beside of the 150 bucks if you want to get this watch shipped to Germany you pay tax you pay additional fees so uh, yeah I think it's the, the, the most expensive swatch <laughs> <laughs> you could purchase but it is fun to have and I saw right now it's out of stock so I ha I'm happy that I could get one. So let's talk a little bit about what I do dislike on this watch and this is actually the crown. To be honest the, the crown sucks. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's not an issue of the Hodinkee limited edition it's an issue of all the Swatch uh, System 51 watches. And I, I do have very short fingernails and I do really struggle um, pulling the crown to set the date and the time and yeah this is uh, also the feedback of the movement isn't the best so if you are on the market for a durable everyday world watch then you are better off with I think a Seiko 5 or an SKX even though they are a bit more expensive but yeah for 150 bucks you can get definitely in terms of quality in terms of feedback of the movement better watches but then you don't get an in-house 
90 hour Swiss made movement. So this is the thing actually, which is the most interesting part of the watch to me. And the design of course, because this is an original swatch design which exists since the 80s and which I do like a lot. The other thing which is not the most durable thing on this watch is the case, the whole case. I mean, come on, it's plastic. <laughs> um, no surprise there, but yeah, I just wore today for, for shopping and I have small scratch already here. So it is not the most, the most durable, but still I don't care. So. It, it carries with me some memories of my childhood, so I can forgive the, the, the flimsy crown and the case. Because the case is, is as well why I like it, because the looks of, of it are very beautiful. I like how they designed the dial. And um, it's sort of a special watch because it's from Hodinki. They are not produced in millions, so I guess it's, I don't know, in 20 years maybe something, something nicer to have in your collection. Uh, no complaints about the strap actually, it's, it's, it's very smooth, it feels very soft. With this um, structure you will have got very well ventilation in the summer, so you're not going to sweat too much with that. Uh, I have no troubles wearing this, you could get also aftermarket straps. You can buy original swatch straps, but I think they are pretty expensive, so I wouldn't spend that money, but um, I think some of them do offer on eBay um, aftermarket straps for about 15 20 bucks so if you would like to change the straps you can do it uh, i'm going to rock it on the on the original strap here on the rubber strap it's it's good enough for me and uh, does wear actually pretty comfortable so no problem with the strap very well done also the clasp is well it's plastic clasp <laughs> fits the case though <laughs> it's all right and here we do have the 42 mm Swatch System 51 Houdinki Blue Edition on my 18.5 cm wrists. As mentioned before, it was very comfortable, it's not too big, um, thanks also to the short lugs. To me it's good looking, especially when you have a little bit more sporty dress. I would rock it with a suit, to be frank. <laughs> but yeah, whatever you like. It, it, it was very comfortable, it sits very well on the wrist from my point of view. and. Well, it's just a fun watch to have. Okay, this was the review of my Swatch System 51 Hodinki Blue Edition watch. <laughs> I hope you did like this one. And please share with me in the comment section below your opinions about this watch. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Why is this the case? What is your opinion about this um, Hodinki limited or special edition, edition pieces? I really would like to discuss this in the comment section below. Guys, I do wish all of you now a very happy Sunday afternoon, a good start into the new week. I do say goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Euer Konstantin. Ciao guys.